Water lighty, food do housey. Water lighty, food do housey. Yeah, body by who? Waiting to them. Huh? Everybody say, yeah, yeah. I go tell you when I tell you you go hear them what into them you mean you know no who I go tell you when I tell you you go hear them you go hear them you go hear them you go hear them so when fella was alive what did it mean to you oh fella was a lot of things apart from being just a uh, one of the best uh, musicians around. He was also a major inspiration for me as a student in England. I needed some connection with my home, something that was strong enough that I could, I could preach by. You know, when you're a student of um, the arts in England, everybody thinks that all the arts comes from England, so you have to use English references. I was able to put Fela on the platform as a reference for my work. So that helped me a lot, because something I could identify with. I go tell you, when I tell you, you go hear them, you go hear them, you go hear them, you go hear them. It was my second dad. After my dad was fella, I learned everything I know concerning street life from him. You go hear them. That means to say you nothing. Uh, I like Fela's music and I like uh, the music of his children, especially Femi Kuti. I've seen him live in concert more than one time. <laughs> you know, a lot. Um, I was a very young man that time, but uh, even in my teens, I used to be what I would say a mouthpiece for Fela. Uh, even abroad, I would talk to my friends and make them listen to every word of the songs and let them understand that it wasn't just music, it was about, you know, it was something bigger, about a struggle. From Spanish, from Portugal, from Arabia, from Moscow and Chicago. That means to say you know they for Nigeria be that. Uh -huh. If you day for Africa, where are we day? Father, teacher, mentor. He was my father. He was my father, he was my hero, he was my icon. What do you miss most about him? The gisting, the yabis, politics, discussing politics with him, telling him, ah, fella, this is what happened, because he didn't used to read papers again. So we used to be the ones coming to give him updates on politics. Hey! Nigeria be that. You see yourself, you're not there for Africa at all. Must they come from London, from New York, from Brazil, from Germany, from Frankfurt, from Rome? Yeah, it was my father, and that is it. Like everybody has fathers, stepfathers, biological fathers, guardian, guardians, fathers in general, older people in your life, people that actually take care of you. Father, my father. No, they did. No, they did. No, but my favorite one is VIP, very important person. And that's how Nigerians believe. You know, in clubs nowadays, everybody wants to go into the VIP. And now they have what they call VVIP. You know, so that is my favorite song because uh, VIP means very important people, right? And uh, Fuller coined it Vagabonds in Power. So the fact that um, the Nigerian mentality believes that wherever you are, if you're not in the VIP, that means you're not important. So everybody attaches one sort, some sort of importance to him or herself. So, but uh, Fela now sang that song and said, you know what, they're just vagabonds in power. So that's my favorite Fela song. Okay, so what do Teacher don't teach me nonsense, authority stealing. Can you sing it? Authority stealing. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> this year is Pansa Pansa Power Show, ODOO. I mean, those two are, are quite uh, beasts of no nation. There are a lot of favorite songs, like this one playing is a good one, and a couple more. Um, underground system. Don't ask me to sing it. I won't sing it. <laughs> Everybody sticks to their day job. I think it's ITT. Can you sing it? Ah, this is a big job that I'm giving you. Ah. <laughs> ITT. International TT. International. <laughs> House matter, a different matter. Those were there for London, them they live like lords. Those were there for New York, them they live like kings. We were there for Africa, how we they live like servants. United Nations. If you were to see him one last time, what are you going to tell him? If I had to see him one, one last time, I want to see how he's going to die. That's what I would that, that is what I would want. Like, how is it? How, how are you going to go? How are you going to go? I wish I would see him one last see him one last time, honestly. I'm still very young, honestly. It's not that, like I was 13 years old. 13, so it's about 21 years for me now, not 20. Thank you, Baba. A show. Yeah. I don't know. Now you be this, fella. Now you be this. <laughs> I'm not ready yet. <laughs> uh, that's that's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already yet. Look, we all aspire to, to be like him. We all aspire to make an impact like him. Um, in that regard, I'm not ready. I'm nowhere near ready. And also, I'm not ready to be where he is. <laughs> That's it. But seriously, if I saw him now, I would probably say to him that I've always known that he, he saw the future. I always knew that he knew where we were going. And I always knew that Nigerians would never, ever listen to him. Ah, if I see him one last time, what would I say to him? Write a song about corruption in the 21st century. What I'll tell him is that, look, Baba, Nigerians can never change. You know, every gov government personnel that is sung about, Buhari, Obasanjo, and all of them. They are the ones in power now. And Nigerians won't change, no matter, irrespective of everything he had done while he was alive. I would say, you can see your people, why did you waste your time? Because we're like stubborn goats.